Welcome back to another episode of ATV News. Lori, how's your week eight going? As expected, I had a mental breakdown and I decided to cut my hair at two in the morning while eating corn tortillas covered in Taco Bell fire sauce. Wow. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. Enough about me. All I can think about is Thanksgiving break and it makes it really hard to live in the present moment. I know. Don't you just sometimes wish time could just stop? Well, time is a social construct, so technically we can make it, it stop by saying it just doesn't exist. Well, well, we will have to leave the philosophical aspect of time for another time. It's week eight, friends and ant eaters who are secretly unicorns. I'm Paxton Wright. And I'm Lori Sinanian. And, and you're, you're watching, watching ATV, ATV News. News. Lori, did you know that Hillary Clinton and George Soros are developing a secret coalition of alligator-human hybrid soldiers hell-bent on spiking children's school lunches with soy in order to lower their testosterone count and turn them into gay vegan liberals? No, I didn't. Where did you read that? Oh, my uncle posted a story about it on Facebook. He's super knowledgeable on these sorts of things. Paxton, I think I know a workshop you may want to attend. It's called Debunking 101, How to Spot Fake News and What to Do About It. You'll be exposed to strategies that will teach you how to stop the spread of misinformation in the age of social media. And this event will take place tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. in the Crystal Cove Auditorium located in the UCI Student Center. The workshop will last two hours, so make sure to register tonight. The link is in the description below. Paxton, do you like musical theater? Oh boy, do I. I actually played Captain Hook in my high school's production of Peter Pan. Yeah, the local paper said I had a real star quality. Then I got lazy and decided to pursue broadcasting. Well, if you consider yourself a purveyor of the theater, then check out the UCI Drama Department's production of the classic Stephen Sondheim musical, Company. God, I, I haven't been to an audition in, in years. Oh, uh, yes, and the show will be playing tomorrow night through this Saturday at the Barclay Theater, so be sure to check out their website for ticket details. Scientists have long struggled to capture a photo of a real-life black hole. They should have just come to my house. Open door policy. On Friday, November 22nd, Harvard professor Peter Gallison will be delivering an illustrated lecture on the first ever image taken of a black hole. You remember the one. It's the photo that made its rounds on the internet in April of this year, one that looks like a low-res photo of the Eye of Sauron. The lecture will take place from 1 to 2.30 p.m. at the Humanities Gateway, room 1030. Uh, now off to Natalie with the entertainment segment. Thanks, Laurie and Paxton. I'm Natalia Viles, and this is your weekly scoop on Ant Eater Entertainment. Do you enjoy swing music and free events? Well, you're in luck. The Department of Art on November 21st will be presenting The Art of Performance in Irvine Moton Swing. It will take place in the Experimental Media Performance Lab. Don't miss out. Want a good laugh because it's week eight and you can't cry anymore? Attend the super secret comedy show at the Rec Room in Huntington Beach on November 16th and 30th. A secret lineup is being presented with recognized comedians. Check it out and we'll see you there. This is all Ant Eaters for week eight. I'll be back next time. And in the meantime, always stay classy. Now to sports with Alicia. Hello Ant Eaters, I'm Alicia Drevdell and I'm here to give you the latest updates on all things sports. While well, last week's 2-3 locks against CSUN in women's volleyball was disappointing, our men's basketball team crushed Life Pacific 98-52. Some exciting away game updates are our men's soccer team playing in the NCAA Tournament Championship and our men's water polo team playing in the Golden Coast Championship. Finally, on the home game front tomorrow, our women's basketball team will be playing against Loyola Marymount at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Brent Event Center. That's all for this week's news segment. Tune in next week for more updates on all things Eater Sports. Everyone knows ATV News is UCI's number one online news show. And only online news show. But let's be honest, even if we did have competitors, baby, you know we'd still come out on top. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you haven't already done so, make sure to click the thumbs up so you can like this video and subscribe to our channel for more ATV content. And tap that notification bell right now. That way you get notified every time we post a new video so you can stay updated on everything UCI. I'm Lori Sinanian. I'm Paxton Wright. I'm Natalia Viles. I'm Brian Yukana. And this, this has been ATV News, live from Irvine. Go Ant Eaters! Stop, stop.
Smash that MF like button. <laughs> <laughs>